I'm Ray Damski, and I'm an action and adventure photographer. I grew up doing sports, being in the mountains. Being an athlete myself, the action was the natural progression, and I was just after those perfect moments. And moving fast, that's where I like to be. My first serious DSLR camera body was a D70. So that was the beginning with Nikon for me. And moving on through the years, I've more recently been using the D6, the D850, and now with the Z6 II, it's been a fun couple of days. We're here in Tyrol, Austria, and we found this incredible location. And I've been shooting some trail running over the last couple of days, way up at over 3,000 meters, and then down here in the valley with this incredible river with glaciers in the background. You can start from kind of there, like on this corner, and just run, not the hole obviously, and run across here. A great action shot for me starts with that, that first pull, you know? I like to be right there inside the action and, and really feel the moment. Um, I want you to be there and feel the, the water spray or the snow or the cold and the emotions cool. that the athlete brings to it <laughs> and just how difficult this is. Yeah, look at that. I want to create depth and contrast in my image to see the layers and to see the details. So I'm looking for that nice backlight and often if I can get something a little bit softer that's not too super contrasty, really avoiding midday. Um, so this means for me and the athletes, you know, 5 a.m. starts, 4 a.m. starts to get to that location with the perfect light because often it lasts such a short time. This morning we got up way before the light came in. We still had stars in the sky, pitch black. We marched down to our location with our headlamps on and I wanted to get that shot of the runners early, early in the morning, headlamps, running through the darkness, even into that transition of just that, those perfect moments of just the blue hour. So we got some really cool shots out of that. For me shooting with athletes, it's always super important to communicate with your athletes. See what kind of ideas they might have for the shot because they might have a really cool idea, a really cool thing that you don't even see. I want the details to be perfect and this really helps them to have top athletes and for me to know the sport. As I find myself working for brands a lot, especially outdoor sports brands, it's always important to keep an eye on the details when you get the details right. Because in the end, that's what makes the perfect picture. Some of my tips for action photography, it's really important to know the sport and know the athletes and kind of what moments could be important, what moments of peak action are interesting, so you can predict what's going to happen. That being said, it's also sometimes nice not to know the sport because then you can come in with fresh eyes and just be there and just witness it for the first time and maybe see something completely different than what everybody else has seen. Shooting with the Z6 II this morning, I had no fear of going to 10,000 ISO. I had a quick look at the image, 100%, yes. look clean. As it's 2.8, I can shoot wide open and just bring in so much light, catch those stars, go for a faster shutter speed to really freeze the action of my runners. I always try to look for the best light for my shot when I'm out there. And this is always the play with where the athletes are positioned, how the location is looking and set up. And most of the time in the outdoors it is, running around and checking for the best light and really working with the conditions that you have. That light can make so much difference to your shot. So you really have to think about it and, and just be there at the right time. And if that's highlighting your athlete which that, with that perfect silhouette light behind against the mountain ridge, or just bringing in that really soft light in the late hours of the day, that makes all the difference and creates the entire mood in your shot. Got up really early this morning and we just got out before the sunrise, still dark with our headlamps and came over to this incredible location, ridge line, glacier in the background, amazing spot for trail running. And right to the side of it, this incredible glacier lake where Stefan found the perfect landscape shot. Location scouting is always super important, especially in a big alpine environment like this, where moving across from one mountain to the next can take a long time. And it's always kind of that over the next ridge line, you know, over the next peak, that's often where you find the best shot and that worked for us. We had two little lakes, they looked nice, but we went the next few steps and there was this incredible scenery. I started the morning before the light even came. It just started to get a little bit of that glow over the horizon, peaks in the background. I had my trail running right on the ridge and I shot kind of side on with the 24-70 Z lens. Just amazing, yeah, great sharpness and it just worked really perfectly for these shots. And I was able to capture the whole scope of the landscape and really where we were in this amazing location. And then I moved on to another shot, shooting down the ridgeline, glacier in the background. I wanted to get some of that compression and really 
get a feeling of the glacier in the background as it caught the first morning rays of sunlight. So I switched over to the 7200Z and this was just awesome to capture that compression and get the trail runner razor sharp against this glorious glacier. The perfect shot is always a combination of a couple of factors. Light, super important, and then the location is always the base of the shot. And the action, that just makes the shot. So we gotta have that perfect action and you really gotta time it for the right light. So at the end, when you can bring those all together, you can get an incredible shot. For the shots today, I was able to just roll with two lenses, 2470Z and the 7200Z, and I even had a teleconverter in my bag if I needed that little extra length. And that just gave me the flexibility to cover anything I needed and not worry that I left something behind. No compromises, perfect for what I needed. With the Z mount and just the way it's pulling in light and with the new Z lenses, I just get an incredible edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. And it's pretty cool to have that sharpness on a zoom like the 7200, where I can really put my trail runner wherever I want, for example, and just, I know he's gonna be sharp. From the first shots with the Z6 II, I noticed a marked difference in the autofocus. Just that quicker acquisition and dead-on reliability, tracking my runner all the way through the shot. For me, having reliable and fast autofocus, especially shooting action, that makes a huge difference because then I get keepers a lot more. And you don't want to miss any shots, especially when the light is fading and your athlete is tired. Last week I was shooting wingsuiting. Today I'm shooting trail running. Next week I'm going to be shooting rock climbing on a 300 meter face. So having a little bit of less weight in my bag makes a huge difference. There's an old saying that I like to quote, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And I think that's really an important thing to remember in photography. When it gets really cold and really windy and really tough, that's the moment your camera has to come out and you've got to be shooting. So I try to do a shot right down close to the puddle, shoe hitting the water, and I use the, the, the very angle screen to just get down there and somehow save myself from going fully into the water. And uh, that was cool because I could line up the shot perfectly and still see the runners coming towards me. And that's really important so I can calculate when they're going to be in the shot. Worked really well. As an adventure photographer working in the outdoors, the weather doesn't always play along, you know, but sometimes, you know, we get to the location, I planned for this perfect sunlight, it didn't happen, the clouds rolled in, the wind came up, but at the end we used it. And sometimes when you use those tough conditions, those are when the best shots come. For me, the camera is a tool, so I have to completely rely on it and trust it in any conditions. And when it's blowing hard snow or there's mud flying around as today. I was shooting super close to the trail runner shoes. I don't want to be thinking about the camera or worrying about it getting wet. Uh, so yeah, it's great that it's just it's there for me and reliable. These last days, this was the perfect playground for testing the Z6 II. Amazing alpine environment. The mountains around are just incredible. And so many opportunities for shots. And just really, you turn around and you have a totally different shot. And that light in the early morning, so worth getting up for. It was great to have a lightweight camera in my backpack because we were covering a lot of ground yesterday and today with our scouting and now with the shoot. So having that lighter camera just, you know, made all the difference. Shooting outdoor sports, I have to carry all my own equipment and keep up with the athletes, so weight is essential. Having a lightweight system like the Z6 II and the Z lenses allows me to keep the weight to a minimum and keep moving fast. I did have a tripod for a very brief time for our morning shot, but generally I try to avoid carrying a tripod just to keep that weight down. And I do find that with in-body stabilization, you can handhold to such a low light level that I'm pretty good. One of the most important factors for me, often working far, far away from any sort of civilization or chance to repair or get a new camera, uh, is reliability. Working in snowstorms and desert heat or high in the mountains, I have to 100% rely on my camera. And because of the weight issues, sometimes I only have one camera body with me. So when you've been working for sometimes weeks to get a shot or pushing an athlete to their maximum, you really don't want to repeat anything. And that perfect light only comes once in a while. So having reliability is super important also on the back end. So having two car slots allows me to already have a backup right away in camera, separate them into two different locations, and I'm golden. The last couple of days has been pretty cold and we're at pretty high altitude. So I want to try to reduce as much as possible the amount that the athletes have to run back and forth and uh, you know keep down that classic photographers one more time please so the z62 has really helped me in nailing that shot and nailing the focus every time from when i got the z62 on my hands i was pleasantly surprised by some of the improvements the total lack of viewfinder blackout on the evf this really helps me keep up with the action following the whole way through the shot i can keep an eye on what's happening 
I was pleasantly surprised testing out the auto area AF mode in the camera. Really cool to just be able to find my point, lock it on, hold down the focus button and just track all the way through the whole shot. It worked really well for me. I'm used to fast cameras. Using the D6 is just a speed machine. And it's pretty cool transitioning to the Z6 II that I've got 14 frames per second. And I can just, if I need to, I can do some bursts and really catch that action. The Z6 II and the Z series lenses really helps me get that shot. When I'm right there in the action, I really want to get the perfect shot. I don't want to think about my camera. I don't want to think about the system. So the reliability, the familiarity, the dynamic range as well, and just the speed that everything works at, that really helps me get the shot. I don't have to worry too much about the sunlight, the shadows. I can just look for that nice light and focus on the action.